I'm so excited to be back in, in Goa and um, yeah, to be here. It's always so such a powerful demonstration of people coming together and um, yeah, using the mind in the most beneficial way. And um, to be introduced to that, it's, it's so powerful to use our mind in the most beneficial way. We allow data to be as they are. And data, we can call everything that we perceive data, like all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything that we experience, we just simply call data to just keep it simple. And we allow data to be as they are by relying on open intelligence. So then we, we, we need to first know what is open intelligence. So we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment. And that we can all do together. I just love it, just to stop thinking for a moment and noticing what remains. And we notice that there's something about us that is alert, cognizant, clear, aware, that's always present. So maybe the next thought is coming right away in and that's perfectly fine because the goal is not to stop thinking and not to have any thoughts, but just to recognize that there's something about us always present, always stable, always aware. That is your open intelligence. Open intelligence, always on. And what we do with allowing data to be as they are, we bring open intelligence in the foreground in our, in our view, in our perspective. More and more we recognize open intelligence within everything, inseparable, because more and more we see that data and open intelligence is inseparable. Like, like the breeze and the air and the wind are inseparable from each other. We cannot separate out the breeze of, and the air. Completely inseparable. And um, that's with all our data streams as well. Inseparable from open intelligence. But if we focus in on all our data streams, all our thoughts and emotions, then that is what, what the only thing we see. We don't recognize open intelligence, that stable ground about us that is always present, always stable, always allows us to see clearly within a situation. No matter if somebody annoys us or um, does something that maybe pushes our button or is difficult, we rely on open intelligence as that. We don't need to accept it or reject what comes up. It goes beyond accepting and rejecting. Allowing data to be as they are goes beyond that. And that's a relief because I've tried all my life to accept people as they are. I wanted to accept people as they are, but it never really worked. Because then it was so forceful. Oh, I tried to accept this person that just drives me nuts. And it's like tense. But it never really worked, even though I had good intention. But by allowing this person to be as they are, with my, all my anger maybe coming up, but not playing out my anger, just feeling everything inseparable from open intelligence, I could suddenly allow people to be as they are and see clearly what would be of most benefit in that situation without the need of accepting or rejecting, allowing it to be as it is, and then completely support a situation according what will serve the situation best and not according about my ideas of what, what should be or how I should react, but l rather allowing open intelligence to inform my actions. Open intelligence that's always clear, always beneficial, always knows what to do in each time, place and circumstance. It's brilliant. It's so amazing to be completely at ease and relaxed within our skin suit. That's our natural state. And that's what we become to see more and more with, with um, relying on open intelligence really using our mind to the highest potential that we can. Completely potent, easeful and relaxed in every moment, no matter what life, th life throws at us, no matter what situation comes up. We are not at the whim of our data streams. We're not going to be washed away with the data streams. You know, when we sometimes, I know that so well from my experience, before I came to the, this training, Anger came up and I was washed away. I couldn't see clearly. I said things that I regretted later or maybe were hurtful or whatever it was. And now I can see, wow, I don't need to act upon these data streams anymore. I can see clearly through them without needing to play them out. And that's really, it, it, I mean, it's just life-changing for me. Really life-changing. That is for just with the example of the anger. And, and that refers to all data streams. 
just seeing completely, like on the top of the mountain, seeing everything clearly. And then choosing what would be the most beneficial action. Because seeing everything clearly without being washed away with the data. So, so th that's really brilliant. And what is really brilliant and unique in, in, in Balanced View is that we don't need to do it alone. And we have a complete support network that supports us training up in relying on open intelligence. Because we can allow ourselves time, at least I needed some time to really allow myself to get used to this n new way of looking at things, a new way of relying on my own innate power. And to have a complete support system that is always available for me 24-7 to really train up was just, yeah, most powerful thing. So the four mainstays are, first of all, the practice of short moments. And I referred a bit um, initially uh, uh, to that. The short moments are relying on open intelligence. For short moment, we can just stop thinking for a moment and recognizing open intelligence, always present. Allowing body and mind to completely relax for just a moment. We don't need to prolong this moment. Just for one moment, we recognize open intelligence. That that we recognize when we just were stop thinking, stopping thinking, we recognize open intelligence in that short moment. And that we repeat again and again during our day. Whenever we naturally remember to do so, and we can just test it out today, if we, is that the first time we come here? That's what I did, the first open meeting. I just tested it out during the day and that day to just take a short moment, relaxing body and mind. When something came up, just allowing it to be as it is, without needing to describe it, change it, reject it, allowing it to be as it is. And whenever I remembered, I took another short moment. And slowly, slowly, these short moments become so natural. They increase naturally during the day. They become more and more obvious within our own experience, more and more automatic. So that's the first mainstays. Then we have the second mainstays. We have lots of trainings, open meetings like these, but also um, trainings that really deepen the recognition of open intelligence. Usually we suggest to start with a one-day training, which we have every Saturday, so people can come and test it out for a day. Get to know the written text that we have in Balanced View to deepen that recognition. Get more and more used to the language of open intelligence and data. Then we have the, the, a four-day training that more and more deepens that as well, just to test it out in our own experience. It's so profound. And, and then we can continue on if we feel like that's something we would like to um, test out. We have a 12-day um, 12 empowerments training, which really was life-changing for me. A training that really specifically looked into the details of my life, how I can really empower the data stream that always kept me of being completely relaxed. How I could use um, a, way, a tool, how I could harmonize relationships to have completely harmonious relationships. And um, so the 12 empowerments give us all the tools for daily life to really empower, um, um, empower ourselves there. So that's the second mainstay. We have a third mainstay as a trainer that we can always contact to really clarify the data streams that come up. And the fourth mainstay is the community, seeing all other people relying on open intelligence, coming together and seeing, wow, we really can make a change in this world by relying on open intelligence, coming together in teams, working together easily. That's how we are meant to be working together. And I've just seen that in the setup here. We've set up this center the last month and just coming together in a team where everybody is just focused on the benefit and not focused on the data streams that come up. We, we just got this center done magically because all the energy went into um, yeah, seeing what is of most benefit, really focusing in on the next step solution, creating the space together rather than oh, I feel tired, or I, I don't like this person, or this one annoyed me, or um, I, I'm attracted to that one, or, you know, like all these things that usually come up. But if everybody's not focusing in on that, allowing this to be as the, it is, we have that energy to use for beneficial creative action. So that's brilliant. And that was a complete demonstration the last few weeks here. And always, is with every team I work with in Balanced View, it's just always that complete dedication and single-focusedness of benefit. 
So it's, it's really powerful to test it out in your own experience. And um, I gave myself just that time to test it out in that way, coming to the open meetings, asking questions, allowing myself to test it out during the day, and, and then to see what, what, what happens. More and more that just becomes automatic, the way that we see our data streams, the way we use our mind, in a very simple and natural way, very gradually.